Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642 and today I bring you a video of this 2012 Cadillac CTS Coupe. This one is the 3.6 liter performance trim level. Coming along the back, as you can see this one is riding on Michelin tires. They are brand new tires and coming along here you can see they are P26545 R18, so 18 inch alloy wheels with rear disc brakes. Coming along the back of the CTS Coupe, you can see your dual exhaust in the center. It's a very nice design along with your rear backup sensors. And up underneath of here you do get your rear backup camera. As I mentioned this is a 3.6 liter trim. You have your very nice and retro styled tail lights. And coming along the side you can see your pinstripe on this one. Your projector HID headlights and fog lights along with a chrome grille. Very nice looking. Coming along to the door, this one does have your standard Cadillac key fob for intelligent key access. You do have lock, unlock, your remote start, panic, and trunk release. Coming up to the door, all you have to do is have the key fob with you and just touch behind here and it will automatically unlock. All you have to do is just touch this little membrane. Coming inside, this one has the light titanium leather interior. You can see your Cadillac door sills. Coming inside, as I mentioned, just have to have the key fob in the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, and use this to start. And all you do, start the engine, just flick. Closing the door, seat will automatically move up. And coming inside, this one does have a leather wrap steering wheel, as you can see here, very nice. Coming along here, you do have your cruise control, your audio system controls on this side. This vehicle has very, very nice and tight power steering. Coming along the door, you can see your stitching up here, your stitched leather. You do have some carbon fiber accenting right here, along with very nice soft touch material, your two-person memory for the driver's seat. Right here, as you can see, you do have your release for the door. It is just a push of a button. Down here, you do have more of your leather stitching, along with right here. And it is a padded armrest. You do have some storage, and even down here, it's soft material. You have your power locks, power windows, and power mirrors. Right here, you can see your air vents. They are chrome lined, and you have more of your carbon fiber, along with your stitching across the gauge hood and across the dash. Coming along to the center, you can see your gauges. They are very nicely backlit. You do have your shift indicator there, along with your speedometer and odometer in the middle. As you can see, this one has 19,000 miles, along with your oil pressure, engine temperature, and fuel gauge on this side. Coming along the center of the CTS, you can see your radio in the middle. It is a Dolby Digital surround sound system, DVD audio, and it's very nice in the way it operates. As you can see, the screen is very easy to read. You do have all your different presets down there. It does have XM satellite radio and all your different tone and everything too you can change. You have your analog clock in the center, more of your controls for your radio down here. It is a hard disk drive system too. And down here, you do have your dual zone automatic climate control for the driver and passenger. You each get an individual screen, as you can see. It's a very nice system. You do have all your controls in the center. Right here, you do have your six-speed automatic transmission with manual shift mode. Right here, you do have your parking brake. It is electronic. And you do have some more storage in here, two cup holders, along with up here also, another compartment. Another thing with the CTS, you put it into reverse, you do get a rear backup camera with trajectory lines up here. You do have OnStar and uh, your SOS up there also. In the center here, you do have a very nice leather padded armrest. It is dual tier. And inside of here, you have your USB auxiliary and a power outlet. Coming up here, you do have your garage link along with a very nice padded woven headliner which follows down along the pillars here. Right here, you do have your power sunshade control. And then right here, you have your power sunroof control. As you can see up here, you do have your garage link also, as I mentioned, and your interior lighting. And really, when the sunroof is open, it's a very nice open and uh, bright cabin. It provides a lot of light for in here. You do have your visors right here. So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, and open the door. Pop the trunk, and pop the hood. Another thing about this vehicle, if you were ever in it and the electronic release were to fail or um, battery died or something, you have a manual release right here for your driver door. 
and there also is one on the passenger seat. Coming along, you can see the back seat from this side. We'll go ahead and step in on the other side. You can see your antenna up there. Coming along to the trunk of this CTS. As you can see, this one does come with the dealer accessory cargo net right here. Underneath of here is your spare tire storage. As you can see, you do get your uh, air pump right there. And then right here, you do have two floor mats. They're all very nice and clean. And behind this panel is your battery. And right here, you do have your hinges. But overall, it's a very nice amount of cargo space here. Coming along to the passenger side of this vehicle. Go ahead and hold the seat forward, just like that. As I mentioned, it's a power button right there. It's a very nice, easy entrance into the back seat for a sports coupe like this. You can even go ahead and bring the seat back. And I'm about 6'2". That seat's where I would sit, and this one's about even with it. And there's a pretty nice amount of room. It is a uh, vinyl back on the seat, and you do have your leather up here. You do have pockets on both sides, along with your air vents in the center. You do have some storage down here, along with a power outlet. And your two cup holders in the middle. And it's very nice, comfortable bucket seats back here. You do have your leather stitching and your audio system along the side. And overall, it's just a very comfortable vehicle, actually. Go ahead and move this forward. And as I mentioned, entry and exit, very easy. Go ahead, fold the seat back. You can see your key fob right there. You do have your uh, full power passenger seat also, and inside of here. This one does come with the uh, accessory wheel locks, and you do get all your original owner's literature in there. Coming up to the front of the vehicle, you can see the daytime running lights are on. Up underneath the hood of the CTS Coupe, you do get Cadillac's 3.6 liter direct injected V6. See your front strut tower right there. Very nice. Give you one last shot of the exterior on this vehicle. Coming inside of the vehicle, as I mentioned, your Cadillac door sills. Go ahead and give this one a rev. It does have a rev limiter at 3,500. We'll go ahead the automatic driver's side window back up and to cut the vehicle off simply just turn here and remove the key fob with you and as always this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond Virginia if you are interested in this vehicle please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video thanks for watching